You wouldn't believe some of the information I found in this video. From secret police emails to unseen surveillance footage of murders of some of the biggest gang members in Chicago. From gang members committing murders. Yeah. Yeah, what you homie on? Tell you homie on Billy, but it's about who you talking to for that. To gang members being a victim of what we dread so much, death. Chicago has many different ways of detecting crime around the city, from shot spotter alerts to biometric face detection technology, which is a secret technology that CPD rolled out in 2020. But first, we're gonna take a look at the shot spotter alerter. This is the largest vendor of audio surveillance systems, and it consists of sensors and microphones. These shot spotter alerters are placed all around the city in the most dangerous neighborhoods throughout Chicago. They give police an accurate and instantaneous alert of gunshots around that area. Biometrics uses facial features to try to identify criminals in the system. And in 2020, CPD signed a secret contract for $49,000 to use facial recognition technology developed by Clearview AI. And listen to this, this is crazy. Clearview software identifies individuals by comparing them to billions of facial images that the company scraped from social media platforms, making it a lot easier to identify individuals. And this information is all from leaked emails from CPD. And before we get into this video, make sure you go check out my website. That's where I'll be posting all the uncensored and full surveillance footage of these incidents. Each incident will be linked in the description to my website where you can go check it out. But let's get to this first situation of this crazy murder that happened on surveillance. It was July 28th, 2017 at around 2.55 a.m. when Kenneth Tay Lavelle, 31 years of age, was outside of Cabrini Green's row houses. When he was shot multiple times in the abdomen, he was paralyzed for days until he died from his injuries. Plus, he also allegedly got set up by his own homies and they killed him with his own gun. He was from the OTE set and his nickname was Extended Clip Gutter. This next surveillance footage went pretty viral on social media at the time. It was March 10th, 2017. Just before 2 a.m., a gray Chevrolet pulled up to a Golo gas station in the 100 block of East 51st Street. Some men got out and started to fire inside the Golo gas station. Remember, you can go to my website to see the full surveillance footage of each one of these incidents. Lavelle Cox and Jawan Carter, aka Hellvel and Buddha, were the ones that were shot multiple times. And the one guy that survived was Nick Nitty from SKD. And as you can see in the video, he actually used Hellvel as a shield and survived. These guys were all from Geo Drive SKD set, which this set allegedly had beef with THF that came from this murder. A 65 year old man was also shot at the gas station too. He was shot five times and was taken to the hospital in good condition. He was actually at an employee at the Golo gas station. This next incident happened on April 10th, 2020. At about 11.37 p.m., you can see this guy in the orange jacket walks in the store mad. The reason of him being mad because one of the guys outside of the store was asking did he want to buy some weed. So the guy in the orange jacket is going to aggressively confront him. Again, make sure you go to my website to see the full uncensored version. Hey, tell me, tell me for a new point 100. Hey, look, look. And a, and a, and a blue point in Arizona. I'm gonna go get it. I'm saying, tell me for it. You provide your tool? Yeah. Hey, what's your homie on? Tell him, tell your homie on, Billy. You better watch who you talking to for that. Tell me, God. Tell your homie on, play. Tell me, God. Who you trying to? Who you talking to, on the guy? They come out weed. I don't even smoke. Fuck out my face, dude. Fuck out my fucking weed. Go for it. What the fuck is you trying to say? You some weed? I said, how many times you going to say he grew all his own bottle of smoke? What do you want to stay on smoke? He said he's sad. What you want to smoke? I don't know. I'm feeling the type of way. What the fuck? If somebody's going to rob you, they did it already. They 
This all happened on the 7900 block of South State Street, and the 18 year old with the NASA hoodie was shot in the hip, leg, and hand. He was taken to the hospital in fair condition. It's so crazy that somebody could have died just from asking a simple question. This guy could have clearly denied the offer and went about his day. This next surveillance footage was a horrifying incident that happened at a mall. It was on May 31st, 2020. At about 2.40 p.m., the surveillance footage shows a guy being chased down by a gunman. The guy that was being chased down was Marquan Blanchard, 22 years of age. This happened at the North Riverside Park Mall in West Suburb, and it happened right behind the Olive Garden. He was also taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. This next incident would happen on December 11th, 2022. At around 2.26 a.m., right at Verro Lounge at 3235 North Central Avenue, where three people would die and one person would be injured. Ricky Varro, 50 years of age, whose brother owned a bar, was shot in the head and chest and was pronounced dead at the scene. Maria Varro, 25 years of age, his daughter was taken to the hospital in critical condition with gunshot wounds to the head. And then two of Maria's friends were shot too, Maria Pozzalos, 26 years of age, and Mercedes Tarvars, 24 years of age, was taken to the hospital and was dead from their injuries. The shooting was after a fight broke out at the bar. Samuel Person Salas, 32 years of age, was arrested. He was charged with three counts of first degree murder, one count of attempted murder, and kidnapping. But this next incident would be one of the most iconic gang members that died. It would happen on February 14th, 2017. As you can see in the footage, two guys are standing there looking like they're having a conversation. The guy in the back is James Johnson, aka T. Roy from O Block. He was allegedly out op shopping this day and got caught in the op's neighborhood. And when he walked into the store, he ran into three TW members. The second person that walks into the frame is allegedly the guy of the name of Can't Get Right. And then the next guy is TB, who fired the fatal shot. People in the comments say that T-Roy probably thought that they was gonna jump him. And as you can see, when TB walked up, he didn't have any gun in his hand. And when he got close up to T-Roy, he kinda slick poured it out. This all happened in a store in the 2000 block of East 71st Street. James Johnson, aka T-Roy, was shot once in the chest and died at the hospital. This is really crazy because this surveillance footage was only released about 11 months ago and I really haven't heard anything about it until now. But this is where it gets even more crazier because only 7 months later, Terry Burry aka TB from TW was standing in the 700 block of South Chapel at around 12.45 p.m. when someone walked up on him and shot him in the head. This was allegedly get back for the murder of T-Roy. But then about another seven months later, on June 15th, 2018, the same guy that was allegedly in the footage of T-Roy getting killed, which was can't get right with the red jacket on, he would be killed on surveillance too. It all happened around 9.49 p.m. when someone outside of a store in the 400 block of East 63rd Street opened fire killing an innocent 43-year-old man and 22-year-old DeAndre Wallace, aka Man Man slash can't get right. And if you want to see all the uncensored surveillance footage, the links will be in my description. So make sure you go check that out on my website. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.